What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and in this game we're going to be taking on Pawnee Montana. He is a Twitch streamer so if you're not following him definitely go and do so. Um, we've played several times throughout the year. Uh, most, of the vid most of the games are on the channel. Uh, some were still on Twitch but I don't think he's beaten me um, this year. I I'm not sure about that but I don't think so. I have the videos here. I looked at a couple where I, where I knew I won but um, he's going to be coming out with that jumbo scheme. Obviously um, you know when things as the game goes on, people find different things. I don't know if Smitty, Mr. Smith, a.k.a. use a pick for six, uh, if it's his scheme or whatever it is, but everybody's going to claim whatever it is, but people are going to run it differently. I don't really care about that. The bottom line is right here. Um, he's going to be picking off the swerve, and I'm going to tell you exactly... Well, I can't really tell you exactly why, but just know this. The pressure that he was sending, right? Um, I don't know what EA Sports has done to the way that you... You, you know, like the way I usually block a lot of blitzes, his blitz was just still coming in. His shit was just still screaming. So it was, I had to make, you know, faster throws than I usually have to. So that kind of, you know, threw me off during the game. And um, I had a lot of times to adjust. Oh, who's that? LaShawn McCoy? Okay, yeah, truck me. Truck me, bro. And it truck my mom's too. Like, I didn't even know LaShawn McCoy had that kind of trucking power, but it is what it is. But like I was saying, uh, the way his blitz was screaming, uh, you know, typical nickel blitz, but when people run it differently, it's not like if you watch the, um, the Madden Championship and you saw how Jay Mills ran it, and, um, oh, oh, don't pick it. Nobody picked the fumble up. Nobody picked the fumble up since it's right there. It's people run it differently. You know, Boogs has run it his own way, problem right. He runs it another way. Um, you know, it's all the same type of mechanic, though. Uh, by this by this time right now, babies that are just born that are popping out of vaginas know how to run nickel blitz. Everybody runs it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about the way that you set it up. And um, sometimes just like the, a little delay of when that cornerback is blitzing will throw off a guy that's blocking and he'll come around clean. Either way, you'll see. You, you see the way that he was able to control his defender? I'm very, very happy that I played this game because within the last patch, what EA Sports did was they gave the safeties a little bit more control. You know what I'm saying? If you if you have any understanding of what the swerve is, you know, like a lot of people complain, bro, I can't stop the swerve. I can't. It's very specific ways to do it because I stop it. I know how to stop. I don't use cover two to stop it, but... Um, I don't know why this guy got sticky in it. Look, look how far away. That, he had at least five yards, but I guess, what was that, Cam Chancellor? The dude got monkey arms, bro. Dude just grabbed me by the butt cheeks and tried to strip me. But like I was saying, um, depending on the type of cover two that you're playing, the safety will respond uh, in certain cases, and you just need a decent amount of heat. Because if you have time, if you if you do the swerves, right, and, and that's what pissed me off about this game, because I just didn't adjust. I didn't adjust to uh, other formations that I know could pick up nickel blitz just because I'm used to running my doubles and it usually picks it up. And he was just screaming. He was screaming off the left side. And like I said, props to him for doing that because like I said, you got to be able to throw somebody off of their game. Like right now he's running jumbo and I'm screaming. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't lab against jumbo, but I'll go, into the, I'll go against the computer and I'll pick a play and I'll figure out how to stop it myself. You know what I'm saying? So... Cause I don't really, I don't really know a lot of people that run jumbo to begin with. So I knew, um, you know, once I saw it, I, I forgot what stream I was in, and I saw somebody running it. I don't remember who was running it, but I was like, all right, this is gonna be a formation that a lot of people are gonna be using. It's pretty, pretty, t you know, it's pretty tough because you got great runs out of it, and also if you block everybody and send them on those C routes or the, uh, you know, the high post routes, those are straight dotties. So that's pretty much what was happening. And, and with this drive right here, I should have, yo. I was supposed to get six. I didn't get six. I had to end up taking a field goal. That really screwed me over. I'm gonna have other opportunities as well to score. But as you can see, as far as the way the jumbo goes, it was pretty a defensive game, pretty much a defensive game. Cause like I said, I, I know how to stop the run. I know how to stop the pass out of it. But what he did was he started to uh, run the ball a little bit more. And um, the defense that I had for it, the way I was setting it up, I was being foolish right. Right there, that's just 3D. You know what I'm saying? So I just threw it up. It's the end of the half or whatever like that. So I wasn't even really trying to, you know, say I was going to definitely swerve him on that. But the way that he had his guys backed off and stuff like that, because it was backed off plus 3 deep, it's very, very difficult. Obviously, I could swerve any coverage, but it's all about timing. When you're playing against certain players, it's all about timing. And my timing was just way, way off. Because if you looked at that play with 3 deep, he was running around the edge, usering his guy to come around. Like You know what I'm saying? Like If you blitz three guys out of cover three, uh, I mean out of uh, three deep, you could run around with one of the corners. And like none of the offensive line pays attention to you. And he was coming around to try to sack me. That's why I threw it so early. Other than that, I probably would have swerved him for six. But like I said, when you play these games against guys that are, you know, competitive players or, you know, he's good. I think he was, he made it to like one, um, one stage, one group stage of a tournament. I think somebody said, you start to understand specific parts about the game. And I've played a lot of competitive players. I've beat a lot of competitive players. A lot of the guys that you see playing right now in the Madden Championship. But my one issue with it, with what I did this game that I didn't do, I just didn't adjust. 
and he just started running the damn ball down my throat, bro. And once somebody starts doing that, you gotta adjust. And I'm a douche for not adjusting. And, um, you know, he's gonna take full advantage of it, obviously, because he understands specific things about the game and he knows what I'm giving up and what I'm not giving up. That just comes with the whole territory. Like, when you hear people say that, uh, you know, there is nothing that's competitive Madden, I always have to say, look, it, it, it's because the game, because aggressive catching is so OP, you can say that in certain regards, but it, it's a very, very minimal skill gap. And the skill gap is with guys like Pawnee, you know, you know, Dub Dot Dubby, uh, Volterax, Skimbo, these guys. They have specific things that other people just don't know. And the number one thing that they do um, that, you know, most other people like me, like I, I can play competitive. I just choose not to because the game frustrates me. But the one thing that they do is they adjust. And it's all about adjustments. It's not like, yo, oh, bro, yo, this dude is mad raw. They adjust to whatever you're giving them. Like, problem right, damn near won a, a championship last year by running fullback dive. Because he just goes with what works, and he's patient. I have no patience. And if you guys watch me stream at G Miles World, you guys know that. I don't give a F. I want to score fast. I want to do whatever I want. So you can see that he's up four. He throws this hot dot right there. He's pretty much right now, what is he, at the 40? He's about to be in field goal range. Yeah, he, oh, okay, we got him right there. And I think he's going to throw a hot one right now, right? Is he going to throw a hot one? Nah, we come, we screaming. All right, so he's going to take his field goal. He's going to go up by, what, is it seven now? So I know at this point, because of the way that he's playing it, I just need a little bit of time. And then after the game was over, I was like, oh, snap. You see like how his guy is screaming off that side? He can stop his guy the way he just did right there. You know, because strafe doesn't really work. If, okay, we, we, uh, I don't know why he ran the ball. I only had two timeouts. I was, I was pretty much saying, good game. You can't run the ball. Madden's going to make you fumble. But um, if you have enough time to set your guy up the way he had because he knows that the blitz was screaming, he could set it up for the interception. And that would, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys about being able to pick up a blitz. Because no matter how good you are, you saw the way... Um, like, uh, what was it? What's the name? I think uh, Stiffmeister beat Problem last year when he started he started screaming out of that, uh, what was that, the, the 2 3 6 or, or the 3 2 6? Because when you can't get time, no matter what you're doing, it doesn't work. You have to be able to have time. And that's what really threw me off in this game. So when we jump into OT right here, I'm going to win the toss. I'm like, you know what? I know that the running the power O was working against it, but I don't want to really just come out and start running power O. So, you know, I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit. I should have just ran power O. Because if I would have ran power, oh, I know I would have at least gotten a field goal. And I knew I had good enough defense to at least, if I got a field goal, to, you know, maybe maybe hold him to a field goal, get the ball back and stuff like that and figure out a way. But I come out right here. I'm going to run the halfback, um, the halfback base out of bunch. He's going to come right in. And you can see that I got a budget uh, wide uh, running back who is Dunbar. And he has no, look, see, like, look, you see, you see what I'm saying? Because the blitz is screaming, I have to get rid of the ball. And that, yo, that right there, I got to give him a lot of props, man. It definitely, definitely threw me off. But now that I realize exactly why his blitz was coming in, I'm good to go. I can't wait to play him again. You know what I'm saying? If I do run into him before the game's over. Oh, good job, Bar. Good job. Get dotted. So that's pretty much the game. But he wanted to, you know, go in and do the score the same way I would want to do it. You don't want to go by a field goal, even though he could have. But he dropped that. I don't know. I thought he was going to give him the animation to just hold on to it. And then right there, he blocked enough people. And I didn't see. Yo, that's the route I was talking about, that quick out route. So good game to Pawnee Montana, man. G Myers World, we out here. Hit that like. Subscribe. One love.